Hey, what's up, guys? Brad here. So today we have a brand new Duel Links event, the Raid Duel, the Netherworld Cometh, where we've got Jurassic. Dark Son of Rick Skudden is here in the game on the 6th of December. Yeah, it's another one of those events where we're getting an event character in a couple of days, which is fine because this event is probably one of the most free-to-play friendly events in general, a really good event for players to go into. Plus, we're getting like 10 new cards from the event in general, so there's not a lot that's really uh, bad about it because there's no duplication kind of happening. So, we're going to go through Rex's new reward cards for the event, we're going to play some Turbo Duels because there's a new skill involved with that, and we're going to check out some stuff from the Cartridge EX and some of the event missions and things, so uh, let's dive right into this event review video, and if you're wondering about leaks, later today, a huge leaks video is coming, and I mean it this time, huge leaks, it is huge. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. So first up, let's go to the Cartred EX and quickly take a look at some of the rewards we can get. We can get a ton of new cards, we'll talk about them in a minute. We're getting reprints of the Prime Monarch, the first Monarch, and Monarch's Awakens, so I'm going to definitely get my third copy of the Prime Monarch. And we're getting some other uh, cards here and there with some skill chips and a usual results boost, all those kind of things. And what is that? That is gold. Okay. Why can't I buy that gold? I don't know. Might be a bit of a glitch there, Konami, but uh, sure. We then have, of course, the uh, the stage missions, the special missions for the event. And again, you get play mats, you get sleeves. I believe there's a hidden play mat for doing the uh, Sun and Moon Dragon. No, there it is there. This play mat sleeves here, the the one with the uh, Sun Dragon Team Moon Dragon Quitter on it, looks really, really good. Probably one of my favorite mats in the game, apart from the fact there is the Duel Links logo on it. So when you get that play mat, it's pretty nice. Now let's go to the giant Earth Metamorphs in the middle of the event and see what it's all about. So we do have the whole assist duel thing here. So one duels, five duels, ten duels, you'll get all three slots unlocked. And again, you could unlimited farm in this event, which is really, really good. You can just keep playing auto duel, keep grinding out points and uh, getting rewards. Now they have nerfed them a little bit, so it's not as um, it's not as rewarding in terms of the raw amount, but it's still easy enough to do and you can get a ton of points really quickly. So I'm currently sat at 759,000 points after playing 11 duels. So that's really good. It was all pretty much assist duels, none of this uh, raid duel or whatever. So uh, let's take a look at the Kingdom Rewards first of all, what we're getting. So we have uh, and, you know, a good amount of stuff already unlocked. When do we get a Rex? I think it's 600,000 points or something. I can't remember. I'll have to have a look in a minute. But we're going to get a ton of cool things. We get some uh, some sleeves that are quite nice. The uh, sleeves, sleeves and play at this event look really nice. A Moon Dragon or a Sun Dragon at 2 million points. And we go all the way, all the way to 10 million event points because Konami knows that this event is very very easy to do and you'll get to that point very very quickly so it's not that they're giving more rewards it's just that they know the event is so easy that they're spreading the rewards out over a more manageable kind of uh, period so uh, not too bad there. Now the treasure box has also changed in that you can now get some pretty decent reward cards you now have in the rainbow there's pretty much a guarantee to get something worthwhile out of it which you wasn't really before because there's a ton of reprinted cards now you have a lot of good cards in there, and then again the gold treasure boxes, all new cards, and then the silvers again, all new cards, but just, you know, the, the worst stuff. So, it's good. You know, so far, event's pretty good. Now, before we go to the cards, there's been some changes to the event. First of all, the whole uh, highest damage is now displayed and the amount of points you get is based on something different. It's now based on the amount of life points, I believe it is. Turbo duels now have been changed. We'll, talk, we'll check that out in a minute, but... Uh, the remove 8 will now multiply your synchro monster attack by 5 instead of 2, so it does make it very, very easy for you to go in with your synchro monsters. And we have the brand new auto activating skill that puts Majestic Star Dragon on the field, so that's really cool. There's no animation for it, but that's still, that's still quite nice. And then, of course, we have, again, some other changes. So let's take a look at Rex's new reward cards and see if they're any good, because uh, we're getting literally everything Rex had prior to his new support in Legendary Duelists. So once we get 1.2 million event points after December 6th, you get a Rex Goodwin, so that's going to be very easy. I'm going to be able to do that within the next 20 minutes probably, so uh, not hard to get at all. And 6th of December, I believe that's the Friday, so not too long to wait for Rex, and he should have some pretty cool stuff with him. But let's take a look at his new cards. So first of all, the Ultra Rare, Oracle of the Sun. This is a level 5 light spell caster. If your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special on this card from your hand, so it's a Cyber Dragon. When this card on the field is destroyed in Simpsons Graveyard, you can add either Fire Ant Ascator or Supe from your deck to your hand, and we are getting those cards as well, so we're going to talk about those in a minute. But we're also getting some new super rare cards. So, first of all, Sun Dragon Inti, a level 8 Light Dragon Synchro, requires Ascator 
plus one or more non trade monsters, so it's fairly kind of uh these ones that require materials are a little less favorable, but I think we have some skills that make them worthwhile. If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, destroy the monster that destroyed this card, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack points on the field, so that's really, really bonkers. They're giving us, you know, up to three copies of a card that could do burn damage, and if it's destroyed in the stand by next turn, you could special a Moon Dragon Quiller in your graveyard. So, uh, these two cards, Sun Dragon and Moon Dragon, like to, uh, rotate themselves out and recycle themselves, so they are really, really cool in that regard. So Moon Dragon is level 6, requires super A plus 1 monster monsters, 2500 attack points. If this card is targeted for an attack, gain life equal to half the attack monster attack points, and this card is destroyed by battle by card effect, you can target Sun Dragon in your graveyard and bring it back. So you can see where this is going. If Sun Dragon is destroyed, you get Moon Dragon. If Moon Dragon is destroyed, you get Sun Dragon. This is a really cool little combo and just means that you have to make sure you have one or the other in the graveyard, to actually make this combo live. Then we get Raw of the Earthbound Monster. This card was in a skill previously, but now it's free from that prison. Once per turn, when a opponent's monster declares an attack, target attack monster, destroy it, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the half of the destroyed monster attack points, you must control Earthbound Immortal with attack high and the attack of the attack monster to activate and resolve its effect. So if that last part wasn't in here, then this card would be ridiculously broken, but does require you to have a Kokopakapu or a Rogot Jurassica or Aslopiscu on the field. So, uh, it's going to be a hard card to get off, but if you have a strategy to get out of Earthbound Immortal very, very quickly, it could be pretty cool. And then finally for the new Super Rares, we have a Pocket of Quill, a level 4 Light Thunder. While this card is visible on the field, it is a level 5 if you control a face-up tuner, so it does mean this can very easily make your Moon Dragon or Sun Dragon if you have the right material. Very, very nice. When this card on the field is destroyed since the graveyard, you can special summon one Oracle of the Sun from your graveyard. I didn't know this card existed until now, so it's a new card to me. This seems pretty cool. Obviously, this entire event is based around a Sun and Moon Dragon deck, so uh, that's pretty cool. I'm guessing going to see, you know, Playmaker and Duel Link's best decks upload a video within the next 24 hours on these cards, and then when the skills drop, they'll probably do a revised version because I think the skills are going to make these decks even better than they already can be. And then, of course, the Treasure Box tells us also getting a copy of Supe, Fire and Duskator, Call of the Reaper, which I didn't know about either, but this is a monster reborn for your uh, Supe and Fire Ant if another monster is special summoned, so... Uh, that's okay, it's kind of terrible, honestly. And then we have Ganigumo and Lord of Zamaya as two vanillas for this event, and they're just pretty terrible, but this guy has some really... This guy's artwork, actually, it's it's, it's pretty, you know, pretty old school, you know? I could see this on, like, a, uh, a PS1 game cover, so uh, pretty nice. Now let's take a look at the actual part of the event, the dueling, and see if the new raid event's any good. Okay, so we're going to do a turbo duel. I think we have Crow as, as our character. We do. We're going against Goodwin. People thought we weren't going to get him in his uh, whole uh, naked self, but sure, we have got him here. And uh, let's see if we can win. We're playing Black Wings, we're not running a field spell skill, so uh, we might be in a bit of a pickle here. But let's have a look and see. Terminal Despair, level 200. I think it goes up to level 1000, and then there's going to be even more above that. So this event could be pretty hard in the late stages like the uh, these events usually are. We're raised to the king of the netherworld. Here we go. You say Jack and Crow. It'd be really cool if you could place all three at once, but unfortunately, you know, not. This background is sick with Earthbound Immortal in the background. This is like the best looking one so far. But let's see if we can get a W out here. So summoning out, okay, he's using a very, very bad deck. We have Chris, of course. We have, we start Black Dragon on the field. That's pretty good. We have our EX skill, which will double our synchros attack points to the end of the turn. Very, very nice. Now let's see if we misplay with this uh, thing. So we want to go, uh, we'll go Zephyros into into Gale. Just make it so we can have as much attack points on board as possible. Gale gonna get that back row, all nice and uh, well not the back row that monster card, all nice and weakened. We're then going to go into I want to do I want to do uh, Chidori because Chidori is gonna be the biggest one right now off the bat. Uh, so we might as well. Summon out Chidori the Rain Sprinkling, and then what we'll do is we'll summon out our, uh, our special, our guy. We can then set Blackbird close because there's not really any risk here. We can use our skill to make, uh, who should we make bigger? We'll make, make Blackwing Dragon bigger. And we have how many points? We have, I can't even see, we have seven, so not enough to use our skill just yet. That's fine. We can now go in and do some massive damage, like some really, really big damage. 6400, and then 18, 9600. There we go. Let's see. What are you going to do, Rex? Summon another vanilla attack mode. Okay. It's going to be a very, very quick video. There's Samoon. 
We've got our skill, we can then use our, uh, our lovely Blackwing Rising skill on our dragon again, and then of course we'll do our Acceleration R skill, use our times by 5 multiplier, 16,000 attack points. We can just kill him right here, right now. Blackwing Dragon dealing 48,000 life points. That skill is going to be essential for making this event super easy, and that should give us a ton of event score, and hopefully some treasure chests as well. This must be a joke. You beat me. Yeah, we did. Very, very easily. 66,000 damage. We got a ton of chests. We got one gold chest. Okay, Konami. Thanks. That's, uh, that's really helpful. A lot of event points. We got some new cards as well. It's pretty cool. And again, as I said earlier, the assist duel is going to be your biggest ally with this because you can go in and get a ton of uh, score for very, very little. So I'm going to go in. Also duel, probably lose because I've not been playing Black Wings on this. I've been playing like a generic uh, Tuna Synchro deck that goes into the Sana Dragons because Sana Dragons do have times three damage. Now we'll see here, 27,000 attack points or life points. That's going to be pretty hard for me to get through because as you can see here, we're summoning our Roshan attack for some reason and we're not getting a Synchro out on board very, very easily. So assuming that he attacks in and no, you're meant to let that go through. Why? We don't want a level 1 on the field, we want to get access to Steam. Like Steam would have been really nice now, but no, we're not going to get it off, are we? No, so, uh, sometimes the AI is a bit stupid. If you have a deck that just focuses on getting out Synchros and doesn't focus on anything else, like Black Wings have, they will just swarm to the field and, you know, they might sit on that. But, uh, if you have something that works a little bit differently, then you might be in a better spot than I am right now. So we're going to go in and summon out a, I want to do something different here, but we can't. So actually, no, we can bring in Black Wing Dragon, can't we? We can bring out Black Wing Dragon very, very easily because we're going to get a token from Hiroshi and then we'll get our uh, our triple damage guy on board. So uh, this guy summons our token in defense mode. We can then uh, pop the uh, One Who Hunts Souls. We can then go in for a Synchro Shokan into our boy Black Winged Dragon in attack mode. Very, very easy Synchro Summon there. Some new Swords of Power, exactly, Crow. We're then going to... Nothing want to activate in the graveyard right now. Actually, no. We can. Huh. Right. Let's special summon a Roshi. And then we'll go in and use the effect of our Steam the Cloak in the graveyard to get rid of you, summon you out. And then we can go into our big boy. Where is he? There he is. Chidori. The Rain Sprinkling. Now, if we had a Black Rose Dragon, that might be better because that's, you know, again, more points. But this is just like, this is my deck I've been using in Ranked. And just bring it right over to Duel Links into this event. So, uh, Blackwing Rising, we're gonna make Blackwing Dragon bigger, so he's now 3000. And that should be a good amount of damage right there. 9k, we're gonna win the event on our next turn, so, uh, so he wants to do take his thing and see what happens. Summoning out Dragon Statue. Darkness approaches the, you know, one of the most, uh, tilting cards you have. And there we go, going for Game with Chidori, and that was very, very easy. Obviously, if you have a deck that's more suited to bringing out some synchros very, very quickly, then uh, you're going to have a whale of a time this event. Just put it on your second monitor in the background and infinitely farm like you did with Kallen. Get a ton of event points, a ton of resources, and you should be good to go. And that is going to be me done for today's video. If you're wondering why my name is Dave, it's because I was playing some uh, Kans FTK deck. We got another Moon Dragon Quiller. That's my second copy. That's very, very nice. So uh, I'm going to head off. I'm going to record the leak video, and I'll see you all later on today for uh, what you probably all came here for. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one's video. See you then.